Marketing 101. Are you ready to learn about marketing? Welcome to Choice Hacking. I am Jen Kleinhens. I'm a marketing psychology and customer experience expert. And I also run an agency called Choice Hacking. I've worked with brands like Starbucks, Adidas, McDonald's, and more in my career. And today I am going to walk you through the fundamentals of marketing. That's right. This is the first video in my series, Marketing 101. Whether you're an entrepreneur or a marketer who just wants to review fundamentals or maybe you're interested in moving into marketing as a career. Well, this video series is going to help you learn the basics. But before we get started, if you wanna learn marketing psychology in less than five minutes a week, join my free Choice Hacking newsletter. Just visit choicehacking.com forward slash read, or you can check out the link in the description. You'll join 7,000 amazing marketers from brands like Uber, Ikea, Google, Coke, and Disney who get my newsletter every single week. Just click the link in the description and get some free information. Why not? In this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest marketing mistake I have seen in my career and the biggest mistake that I see in people who are new to marketing. And that is you are not your customer. Now this might sound really fundamental and really basic, but it is something that all marketers need to remind themselves all the time. Being a marketer means you are no longer the customer. You might love your iPhone, but the minute that you go work for Apple's marketing team, you are no longer objective. You are no longer the customer. You are experiencing the brand in a very different way. This concept is called market orientation. And it says that if you have market orientation, you are focused on the customer's needs and their desires when creating new products and marketing. Not what you think your customer's needs and desires might be, but what their actual needs and desires are. There is a psychological reason for why it is so difficult to put ourselves into other people's shoes. Whether you're a designer or an entrepreneur, you're putting together a product or you're creating marketing and it's called the false consensus effect. Basically, it says that we think other people do what we do and like what we like. A good example might be reading the New York Times. Now, if I asked someone who was a New York Times subscriber to estimate how many people in the United States subscribe to the New York Times, they're probably going to overestimate that number because of the false consensus effect. They think, well, I love the New York Times and I pay to subscribe to it. So surely 60 or 70% of the population must do that as well. Another good example might be going to McDonald's once a week. You might think that everybody eats fast food once a week. This is the false consensus effect in a nutshell. Basically, we think other people are more like us than they actually are. And this can lead to some really big marketing blunders. If you don't know what this is, this is a Ford Edsel. Now the Ford Edsel, that name might ring a bell, is one of the biggest marketing disasters in history. The CEO of Ford and his group of executives decided that, that they were going to design the ultimate car for the American family. Now they did some market research, but they just ignored all the market research. The CEO and his top executives just decided that they knew the American public better than the American public knew themselves. And so they would tell the American public what they should like. And that's how the Edsel was born. I don't know if you have an opinion about this car. I think this car, it's ugly. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. And in 1960, they wasted about $35 million because this car and the line of Edsels were such a failure. Now, that might not sound like a big deal for a big company like Ford, but just think about it this way. $35 million in 1960 is worth well over $3 billion in today's money. So just imagine if the Ford of today made such a big mistake that they lost $3 billion. So when marketers forget about market orientation and they forget that they are not their customer, you'd start to see things like me search, which is like research, but just for one person. So I'll tell you a story, and this has happened many times to me and probably many times to every marketer that I know, which is you come in with a very nice piece of research and you've talked to a hundred people or a thousand people and you've gotten their opinions and some insights and some reactions to a new product or a marketing campaign. And you talk to the CEO and the people around the CEO, and he says something like, 
You know, this research is really good, but last week I went into our store and I experienced something completely different. That is me search. He is taking one story, one antidote, and using it to override research about hundreds or even thousands of customers. To create great marketing, just keep this in mind. You have to get out of your own head and your own experiences, and you have to get into the experiences and the head and the heart of your customer and you are not your customer. If you wanna learn more about marketing fundamentals, check out the other videos in this series. The playlist is called Marketing 101, so it's really easy to find. And if you wanna learn more about marketing psychology and marketing tactics, be sure to join my newsletter, letter that is choicehacking.com forward slash read, or check out the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.